Right, so the general idea behind this game is that it would be aimed at uh, probably first year students, undergraduates who've just had maybe their induction and they've come along to their first kind of library session and we want to find a more interesting way to kind of um, get them thinking about how you would actually search a database and then the kind of resources you might be searching for and how you would go about actually putting the search together and finding those resources. So the idea is that over the course of maybe an hour workshop you would have about 10 minutes for each of the games that you play and there's a kind of scoring system so players are put into teams um, as groups at the start and they're then playing in a kind of league system where they um, score points for every game that they play and then the winning teams at the end actually win a prize, we think, maybe at the end. So the first game, um, they're in groups and each um, team will be given a card like this one with like um, basically an essay question, an assignment question on it. And they'll be asked to think about um, the keywords that they would use to search for that particular search question. So they'd go away, start thinking about that. That really shouldn't take them very long. There'd probably be about three keywords actually in the search question. Once they've done that, there'd be a little keyword envelope that they'd get to check in to make sure that they've um, got all the uh, correct keywords and they'd score five points, I believe, for every correct keyword that they get right. Once they've got their keywords, then they need to think of as many synonyms or related terms as they possibly can for each keyword that they've identified. And again, there's additional five points for every synonym or related term that they can think of. And then once they've completed that, then they then move on to the next game, which is uh, the kind of top trips game. Which is looking at introducing different types of resources that they might be wanting to search. So they've got top trips cards with a number of... Um, different individual resources and these are quite specific resources so it might be um, a specific newspaper article, a company website, government website and you could have one top trump card for each of the individual um, databases that you want to get them to search. Each of the top trumps cards has a number of attributes and the attributes are scored. The attributes generally are quality which is in terms of academic quality Currency, which is how up-to-date the resource is, how easy it is to search, obviously all of these things are slightly subjective, how, how broadly uh, useful it is, so how impressed is your academic going to be to see this turning up in your bibliography, and um, how generally useful is it, would you use it for every single assignment topic that you're given, or would you just use it for one or two, is it a very specific, um, different subject. Each of the um, Top Trump's cards would have a brief description of the resource as well. And one of the things that we felt was quite important for the facilitator to do was to ensure that the um, people playing Top Trump's were actually talking about the resources more broadly than just playing Top Trump's and looking at the <laughs> basic score that you get against, say, currency, because that would make a newspaper score more highly than JSTOR, for example, whereas actually they're useful for different things. So it's about talking about the resource in a round, but it's using top trumps as a way into talking about the resource in a round. Um, and then the next thing that they'd go on to do would be to look at um, information sources, but the, taking the quality scores from the top trumps game that they've got here to go on to the next part of the game, which Alison will describe. Can you just trump to my bit? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to the next bit. Um, they stay in the same group and they conduct a search using any of the resources identified by the top trumps. But the idea is that they have to find different item types, and there can be up to six item types that they can find. So things like a book, ebook, peer reviewed journal article, newspaper article, and then you could tailor it according to the subject. So it could be like if it was business, company report, market research report, law, law report. So things that are relevant for your particular subject area. And each resource is going to be graded according to the quality scores on top, top trumps, like Ali said. Um, and there are also going to be additional scores for each item type found. So it depends how quick they are. So if they get through it all and find six, six different item types, they will then score 12 points. And what we thought we could do is we'd then relate it back to part one. So if they discover any more keywords as a result of their searching, then they could get extra points. So we can make that clear as well. And that's it. No, thank you. Any questions on that? 